the queen of the world! Nobody's talking back to me! Before we knew the whole project about Wakondo Caves, the people who live around here, they called it a storm bin because the grandfathers will tell the, the younger generation, if you go down there, you will see a storm bin. That was referring to the sand painting. These caves date back over 100,000 years and they were once open rock shelters for the indigenous sand communities that live here. And once we get in, you will see the history and the culture of the sand people all depicted in the rocks. So let's go. Okay, so the only way to uh, access these caves is through a climbing route. And obviously you are taken with a qualified instructor. So how it works is that they use steel cables and rungs and those are fixed and you are actually very secure when you're going through the caves. Okay, now this is the rope we're talking about. Okay. This is where we start. Okay. So what we do is you clip here. I okay. want you to try. Clip that side and then move over. one of the most captivating views I've seen in a long time. You know, what's so strange is that we're always traveling to the most exotic places and we're looking for, for this. We're looking for this in another country and it's right here. Yes, <laughs> Oh, wow. So we've got three clear this side, one that side, then the fingertips and the thing like a zip line there. So after a long hike down the mountains, we finally arrive at the cave. Behind me, um, you will see paintings on the rock. So the thing about sand people was that they were nomadic. And that means that they would move with their families um, from place to place. Um, they would settle in places that had three things, shelter, food, and water. And as soon as those things started depleting, it was time for them to move on. And when they left, they left all their worldly possessions behind. They left their pots, their clothing, everything behind. And they would now go and settle somewhere else where they would find resources. But the thing is that after all those years, there's still the history that's behind me. It's there for you and I to find. It's just a matter of looking. <laughs> 